So I just want to bring you up to speed. Uh, some breaking news that we talked about yesterday. We are learning that uh, the U.S. is planning to uh, withdraw about 2,000 troops from Syria. The president tweeting a little bit uh, earlier today about that, saying that we have defeated ISIS in Syria. My only reason for being there during the Trump presidency. Uh, now, our colleague David Martin at the Pentagon has spoken to military uh, officials and has a statement from Colonel Rob Manning, uh, who says, at this time, we continue to work by, with, and through our partners in the region. But uh, David confirms that the Pentagon is planning a withdrawal, but cannot yet confirm that one is actually uh, taking right. place. We'll obviously have more on this uh, and the, the fate of those 2,000 troops. And, and, you know, Brooke, those partners in the region are most likely the Kurds. Um, yep. the, the U.S. has been supporting the Kurds uh, in their fighting there in Syria. And, of course, the question is, if we withdraw 2,000 troops, what happens to their support? Will there be other types of support, not those troops, but perhaps aerial support or something else? And, and the political and military issue has been the Kurds have been very effective at defeating ISIS, but are very unpopular with uh, neighboring Turkey, a key U.S. ally. Yeah. Uh, and uh, President Erdogan reportedly told Trump uh, recently that he would like to see uh, less help from the U.S. Uh, to uh, the Turkish rival uh, Kurds, who uh, this becomes a larger issue, but are perhaps looking for their own state, which could involve part of Turkey, part of yeah. Iraq, uh, but have been a, a very helpful partner as uh, the U.S. has tried to defeat ISIS. So it's pretty complicated. As we get more information and more confirmation, of course, we're going to bring it to you.